Okay, YouTube, um, just going to do a quick review here. Uh, we're making a move from analog to uh, digital on our scale. Uh, the analog is just a real kind of pain in the butt when you're trying to do, um, you know, fractions of ounces and stuff uh, with hops and spices and different things for the beer. So uh, this just came in, ordered it from Northern Brewer, um, like 30 bucks. Um, this is the Ultra Sip Ultra 35, as you see on the label there. Um, and I, I pretty much just opened this. I wasn't going to show you me opening the package, but all the stuff that comes with it. We have a, a letter scale and then a tube scale attachments. Um, this just comes, really comes over, sits right on top so that you can put your envelopes in there and, and measure that. This is really like a postal scale, but it's pretty versatile, so it'll work good. Um, this other attachment goes on. This is for holding the tubes. It's curved there so the tube will stay in place so you can get an accurate weight. Um, all the packaging that comes with it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory system. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. And then this plate you just slide on. Pretty simple. Um, it has two, two means of power supply. Um, right behind here it holds four C batteries. Uh, and then you have this, this function here. Or you can use a power supply. Um, that you'll plug into the wall and that as you can see there it'll need between 9 and 12 volts and 100 milliamp power supply and you'll be good to go you won't have to use batteries um, unfortunately as much to my demise um, when this showed up I did see that it had the dual function uh, for power supply I, I knew it wasn't coming with batteries I was hoping it was going to come with a power supply which was not included so I'm in the process of uh, you know scurrying around my house to see if I have one of the right the right type and then I, I won't have to worry about the batteries but um, you know it is what it is so another nice feature here with this is this face comes off um, so you you know the scale itself can be separate uh, to some degree um, you can put your you know big buckets um, of grain on there or big boxes or you know whatever you need to weigh And then uh, we fire it up. It goes through a little quick self-test, self-calibration, and then uh, and then it's on and active. Now on the side here, we have a unit button, uh, and that is going to let us get right over here. So the the arrow in the lower right, uh, right now this is set up on ounces. You can change it to grams, pounds and ounces, kilograms just pounds and then back to ounces now and the writing down here you know depending on which setting it's on you know you can get down to you know point one of an ounce um, if it's just on ounces but right to the right of that if you're doing pounds and ounces it does between two and thirty five pounds and point two uh, ounces so it, you know depending on how detailed or how uh, fine of a measurement you need uh, may determine on how you're going to do that. Um, you know, one of the other features it has has a hold button and a zero button. Obviously, zero is, you know, you can have something on the scale and then you can, you know, hold it, zero it out, or whatever. But the hold button, using a tape measure as an example, it'll measure. You can hold, and then when you take it off, it just kind of holds your number there so you can see it you can turn it off and then it just kind of works like a regular scale comes and comes and goes um, so that's really it uh, pretty straightforward um, I like it it seems like it's gonna it's gonna work pretty good um, uh, and it's gonna be much more efficient than uh, you know than the, than the analog scale uh, just again a little disappointed that it didn't come with the power supply but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, hope this uh, you find this uh, this video useful. Um, cheers.